Just three points separated the first and second place in the league before kickoff, as both sides came into this fixture knowing something had to give. Both sets of players were fully aware of what was at stake as they went at each other right from the first whistle. The hosts supplied the early pressure with most of the game being played inside the Belvo half. Michael McGrath almost gave the hosts a deserved lead on 14 minutes after breaking through a series of tackles and chipping the ball forward. But the bounce of the ball cruelly eluded the Ireland club international winger. However, against a run of play, the visitors broke quickly to score just two minutes later. A sweeping backline move out wide in broken play sent O'Dwyer on his way as he collected his own punt forward to go over for the opening try. The North Dubliners' dominance continued, however, and on the half-hour mark, they moved the ball through the hands from left to right and into the hands of powerful prop Royce Burke Flynn. He drove through a challenge before passing to Fitzpatrick, who would get over the line and draw the team's level. The upright then denied Tarf the extra two points. Belvo looked to break immediately, and as the ball was played out to the left, they found space with the ball then being fed inside by Jack Conan for Glynn. He crossed in the corner, and referee Leo Colgan awarded the try. The home side fought back as they were held up over the line in the corner, but their pressure continued and resulted in a penalty. It was Joyce to step up and slot the ball home for the three points, getting his kicking tally off the mark. This left the score at 10-8 for the half. Clontarf continued to dominate possession after the break, but were being met by stubborn resilience from the Belvo defence. Then came the turning point of the match. When approaching the hour mark, Belvedere winger O'Dwyer was sin binned for deliberately knocking the ball forward as Clontarf looked odds on to score. The Tarf outfit wasted no time in taking full advantage of the extra man from a forward maul off the line out, which resulted in in form front rower Byrne crossing the whitewash. Joyce converted from a difficult angle to put the hosts 15-10 ahead. In the 64th minute, Belvo were gifted a penalty straight in front of the posts and Crosby made no mistake in reducing the deficit to two points. The Tarf pack would be driving towards the Belvo line once again as they looked to extend their fragile lead and the power in the Tarf legs led to loose head prop Hurst crashing over despite the efforts of the Belvo defence. Belvo desperately went in search of a converted try as they flooded forward, but the home side battled right to the end to seal a hard-fought win and those valuable points, much to the delight of the home crowd. It finished Clontarf 20, Old Belvedere 13.